Yes, Lee, back in 2018, there were 30 game rooms in Victoria open throughout the year. And now in 2019, as of today, there are only two. There's only so much you can do in Victoria. You can go to the mall, you can go to the movies, you can go play bingo. But a lot of people just enjoy coming and sitting and playing machine. Game rooms have been part of the fabric of Victoria for many years. What used to be a social and relaxing environment has recently become corrupt. And it gives them time to go somewhere where they can mingle with their friends and they have snacks and food. and It just gives them a good time. Gambling is illegal in Texas when cash payouts are dealt. Game rooms get around this illegal hurdle by offering prizes such as groceries and home goods. But some don't jump the hurdle. They illegally pay out cash. We had received many complaints about many different locations, and so our investigation of several of those revealed that they were individuals that were inside violating state gambling laws. Last year, the Victoria Police Department cracked down on several cases of illegal gambling in Victoria game rooms. In a roundabout way of keeping track of exactly who was coming in and out, some game rooms instituted a membership-only policy in the response to the crackdown. And it is a common way for game room operators to try to hide their illegal activity, and so we've prohibited it in Victoria to make it easier for us to enforce the legality of game rooms. After raids, search warrants, and money spent by the city to keep officers at these locations, city officials decided it was time to take action in the new year. Uh, we ended up having several search warrants served on a couple of different locations uh, and making some arrests relative to illegal gambling operations. After these investigations, there were changes in the ordinance to get a game room permit in 2019, including a rise in price from $25 to $780. The city attorney, Thomas Goosh, says the price is due to the cost of the investigations as well as the time officers spend at these locations to keep people safe. The game room permit fee is set at an amount to recoup that cost. One anonymous gambler believes their time would be spent better at other places. It's like a waste of time of, of really closing them down and all these investigations. You know, it, it's, they're just taking the time away from the senior citizens. And I don't think that's right. If you're going to go into your golden years, they should be able to go somewhere to be able to mingle and have a good time. The dangers of illegal gambling are far more than what's apparent on the surface. According to VPD, game rooms are a safe haven for organized crime. Cash that can easily fund illegal activity and be transported throughout the crossroads. Chief Craig explained that more times than not, game room employees don't call the police for fear of being caught paying out cash, which is when situations escalate. And we've, had, we've had individuals that have been shot, shot at. Uh, during robberies of, of the game rooms and patrons of the game rooms. And so I see that as a real big uh, you know, issue when it comes to public safety in our community. The new permits emphasize that owners are held responsible if they are caught illegally gambling. In an exclusive interview with a game room owner, she says it's the people who are doing the right thing that lose business to the temptation of winning cash. A temptation, she says, isn't worth it. I don't want to put my employees at risk or anybody in my game room at risk to have to be fined for illegal gambling. That's not going to take place here. City officials have no problem with legally functioning establishments. However, the police chief and city attorney agree that it's hard to find any benefit for them to be in our city. We are trying to provide legal opportunities for that. As long as the game room is operating legally, they can operate in the city. I think the new strict, the strict guidelines, which is the background check, and you have to be a register with the Secretary of State. They do fingerprinting. The whole, we went through three months of of per, trying to get permits and everything done. And I just think everybody should follow that, and I think everybody should try to abide by the law. Despite the potential dangers, game rooms still have loyal fans who just want to enjoy video games without fear. We don't want to do anything thing illegal. We want to work with the police department, not against them. Um, we just want to have a safe, friendly environment for people to come to and enjoy. It's more like a little family-oriented ori place that we have going on here. In Victoria, I'm Abby Rocha for your Hometown News.
Thank you.